Mr. Mayor, Council Members. Um, I'm Susan Lindstrom. I represent Elite Properties and I'm also a resident of the City of Foster City. Um, my company belongs to the Chamber of Commerce and we advertise in the Living Local Guide. We gave them a check for um, $1,300 for a quarter page ad back in December and it was my understanding that this was so that figures out to about $5,000 a page. And it was my understanding that, um, that it was going to pay for the distribution to 6,000 households and uh, more um, magazines to be left in the different spots that the Islander is left in over the city of Foster City. It was a print, it's my understanding, it's a print edition that the advertising was to pay for the printing and the distribution. I was not aware that there was a contingency that if the city did not fund the chamber's um, request that I would only receive a digital guide, that Foster City residents would only receive a digital guide for my money and that I would be very disappointed and very unhappy to find that out. Let me um, continue, okay. I was not aware also that the Chamber was at Foster City to pay for printing and distribution. It means that as a resident, I am now paying again to print and distribute the guide. Okay, I didn't also know that the Chamber needed funds for City Fest. I didn't know about that they, I didn't know that the Chamber was moving from their offices in the IBM building to the 100 Grand building. That's an expensive proposition. Um, I think before the City gives the Chamber any funds, I would like to strongly suggest that the City look at the Chamber of Commerce's budget for the City Fest for moving, their reasons for moving, um, and their this, um, living local guide, you know, strongly suggest this. I think if um, an organization, you know, cannot afford to pay their day-to-day -day expenses, that they're dependent upon the city to pay this, maybe they should have some oversight, you know, um, for this project, okay, for their various projects. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I only see, I do have another one. Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne. I am sorry. I, I apologize. Yvonne, you're up. It is Miss Yvonne Rizak representing herself. Well, you called me before I even had a chance to make my little notes, so I'm just going to wing it. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Council Members, I appreciate to have a few moments. Um, I've been a resident here for 15 years. I'm a small business owner for 19 years. I am a member of the San Mateo Chamber, and I'm a big fan of chambers. Um, I think they play a very important role in the cities they serve. I've worked with San Jose, many of them. But I have to tell you that this issue really gives me pause. Um, as important a role as a chamber plays, as someone who's been involved in politics for a long time, the chamber at the end of the day, even with all the good things it does, is a special interest group. It has issues, it has a constituency, which are its members, and it has issues that are important to that membership group. Those might not always be, and often are not, in line with what's in the best interest of the residents in this town. It's nothing nefarious, it's not evil versus good by any stretch, it's just the nature of the beast. And for the city to spend this amount of money to subsidize this chamber makes me very uncomfortable. Um, I did also look at the budget. Having worked with many chambers, and I'm sure the executive director, who I don't personally know, is spectacular at their job. Uh, if 
this person is here, I wouldn't recognize. It. But I will say that that salary for a chamber this size is woefully disproportionate. So that, again, gives me further pause. Two of you on this council are successful businessmen in this town who run really fantastic, very popular businesses. I'd like to believe all five of us are. Well, I'm talking business owners in town, in this town, not in San Francisco, not elsewhere. And it's good. I'm a business owner. We're, we're kindred spirits on this. Um, but if you are, in fact, members of this chamber, there is the appearance of a conflict of interest. And again, I don't think this is nefarious. I don't think it's manipulative. It just is. So I would ask you, as you proceed with this issue, to consider recusing yourself. Because if you thought it was worthwhile to join the chamber and to pay your dues to join the chamber, you thought that they were doing good things and it would be good for your business. Right there, you're, you have a conflict of interest. So I wanted to just... But thank, thank you, your time's up. Uh, moving on. Anyone else? Really? Absolutely. Your time is up. I apologize. Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. your consideration. Anyone else? 